Did you want to be an actor? Yeah, there were parts of me that did at first. And I think that was my, you know, kind of childhood brain thinking back in the day, okay, well, how do I make a movie when I'm eight years old? I take the family VHS camera, I get a friend or my brother or sometimes my dad to hold it and film me doing things. And what I was doing the whole time was saying, I want to act. But while I was acting, I was telling them where to put the camera. I was telling them what to do. I was telling them how close to frame the shot. And what I didn't even realize at the time was that I was actually directing. And that was the part I loved a lot more than the acting. But the acting was just, you know, at the time, you know, the thing you know, right? Because all the actors are the ones, you know, in mainstream culture that usually get the attention. So if you're outside of the film industry, that might be kind of the first thing you think of when you think of films. But kind of the more I got into it, I realized, oh, actually, I like the, the behind the scenes part. And it's more fun when I can get other people to jump in front of the camera. So you say eight years old was when you decided Roughly, you wanted to be a filmmaker? Yeah, I think so. I, I think it's one of those things. I've watched so many movies and TV growing up and, you know, being in North Carolina, it's not really something that people tell you, you know, hey, you can go make movies. It's not really something that people ever do or talk about. And it's just kind of the type of thing where you say, okay, if you want to do that, you need to get a plane ticket, go to LA and make it happen. And for me, I always had this weird desire to do it here just because I knew that people didn't really do that. Um, certainly there are cases of people who have, but you know, at the time I just wanted to be like, oh, I can, you know, shoot my neighbors playing a weird game or, you know, I could shoot uh, you know, toys that I had or the family pet or just anything. So I, I was just collecting footage at the time and just experimenting with the idea that it could be done. And again, I think it always came back around to, you know, framing those shots and kind of getting an understanding of it. Um, and then when I went into high school, I took some video production classes there that were offered and they kind of helped me understand a little more of the storytelling side. And, you know, it's not just pretty shots and it's not just, you know, filming you know, a turtle crossing the road. It's like, what is the story of it, you know? So you have to kind of frame something in addition to the shots themselves. You have to frame uh, a larger narrative. And so for me, I think even at that young age, you know, I didn't really realize I was doing it, but I, I think that was sort of the, the desire, whether, you know, I certainly wasn't conscious of it, but I do think that was always sort of, you know, somewhere rumbling, yeah.